Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with Card Sketch Challenge number 19. I'm going to be using the Julie Hickey Designs foilables again today. These are basically toner printed die cut embellishments that you can then add foil to using a regular household iron or a bog standard laminator. You'd basically position the embellishments in a folded piece of copy paper with a piece of foil on top and then shove it through whatever method you want to heat the toner with. So in my case, that's a laminator. It's just a bog standard one. This one I think I got for 10, for 10 quid from like the central Isle of Aldi or something. Um, but yes, you can use a household iron. If you'd like more information about the foilables, please do check out Julie Hickey Designs on Facebook. Uh, Julie, many of you will probably know, has been in this industry longer than I have and that's saying something and she knows a thing or two about paper crafts and card making well worth checking out anyway so the toner melted clinged onto the foil and then when you peel the foil back it will stay on those printed areas and give you beautifully foiled embellishments in the color of your choice so let's just take a quick look. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now let's crack on with the actual card itself. Not too much for this one. Um, the doily embellishment I created by using some double-sided tape. That was a huge roll. Um, stuck onto a bit of card, put the contact foil on top, uh, removed, uh, sorry, die cut the whole thing, and then basically went up with that doily. You can do it with any die really. It's a great way of getting foiled die cuts. So I'm just applying the book binding glue to the back of that as normal. Just giving it enough so that it will hold it in place but not enough. Uh, not too much even. So I'm popping that in the centre of a 6x4 card. The measurements for all these sort of circular areas um, that will come up on this card are obviously given in the card sketch that you can download and print from my website gentlemancrafter.com. This is number 19 so if you're looking for it do check that out. I'm going to be using uh, foam pads on the back of the circle that's going to go in the center of the card. Peeling off the backs. And then, oh, the card got a bit stuck. And then plopping that right in the center of that doily die cut. And now for the embellishments. Okay, so I foiled a, basically a bunch of these. Ultimately, you could foil as many as you want and then just use a few, but I kind of tried to pre-plan these a little bit. So for these bouquets, I'm just sticking them directly to the card. And because the foilables had white backgrounds, I chose white cardstock to work, but you could actually color the foilables uh, before foiling them. In fact, would it be before foiling them? Either way, you could practice. Um, yes, so add color to match your background card. It's up to you, mate. Now for the sentiment, I wanted to raise the strip off the card so I cut a couple of strips of foam pads chucked them on the back and I think this one is going to be an interesting one to see what people will make if you'd like to share what you make do come along and join the Facebook group all the links are in all the usual places Now I've got double sentiment action here. So we've got the strip and then this shaped word.
and then a couple of bits just to mm, I was going to say tart it up but it's pretty tarty already I think it was more to bring more attention to the sentiment itself actually Okay, that's this one pretty much done. Please do remember to like the video. It really does help me as a channel. And of course, subscribe for notifications of more videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. See you next time.